one of the best, you know, best efforts and best group of kids that I've coached, and I've coached quite a few. And this ranks up there as one of the best. Had to run for the seniors tonight. They wanted it bad, and I was trying to give it to them. During offseason, coach would tell us he, we were uh, we were ready, and um, he had high hopes for us. Good evening, everybody. The Bentonville Tigers were trying to cap off an undefeated season tonight in Little Rock. The last team standing in their way, Fayetteville. I, I really think they just enjoyed each other. I think ever since I, they came into our program as sophomores, all the way through, it was a group of uh, young men who truly enjoyed being out on the practice field with each other. Uh, they certainly enjoyed the games, but uh, a big, a big sign of what kind of unity and team you have is what how they behave in practice and. The, the August practices, the spring practices, and they just truly, I uh, think every one of the coaches recognize the fact that they, they just, they love being around each other and they love uh, playing football together. We learned from the 08 team that won it, how to handle business, and that's what we kind of did in 2010. It was it was kind of one of those deals that gets instilled instilled with you day one. Um, you know, they, Bentonville had the winning tradition, still has a winning tradition, and so when you become a part of a program like that, um, you, you kind of, you know the, the bar is set high from a success standpoint, and so it was just really important for us to just go out there and execute and, and take coaching. Um. I think the important thing is, is uh, we had a really good quarterback that year uh, that uh, had great leadership that the kids really respected, um, and he had a supporting cast uh, that was as talented as we've had. Um, Darius Wallace was our running back, was been one of the best running backs we've had come through our program, and then a receiving core of several, Mason Snow and Desmond Smith to come to mind. You think about Desmond Smith, he's the leading receiver all time in the history at the University of Central Arkansas because of goodness that come through there. Uh, Mason Snow went on to play at Pitt State. And, uh, we had several, several others. And then, you know, an offensive line that uh, was pretty special in itself too. Um, you know, one of our coaches that turned to coach now was on that team. Marcus Denow would play tackle for that group. And, uh, you know, it was, it was just probably the closeness of the team and, and uh, they did a lot together off the field and worked really hard on the field. That This team is an example that we use a lot for our current teams about leadership and camaraderie as a unit. And the Tigers go on to win. How about that? 49-28, their second title in three years. These kids executed. Did they do it perfectly every time? No. But the consistency of which they executed they took care of their, their responsibilities. They didn't worry about somebody else's. And that's what makes a team. They, they really didn't care who was getting the credit for it. They didn't care that whether, um, you know, uh, the running backs were scoring all the touchdowns, the receivers were blocking. They were blocking when they were supposed to be blocking. They weren't waiting for somebody to call a pass play so they could show off. They were doing, everyone was doing their responsibility on every play. And it was a very, I guess it characterized the team would say it was a very unselfish, one of the most unselfish uh, group of young men that I coached. I think certainly it, it allowed us to um, kind of get that respect back that we had in 08, like I talked about. Um, kind of had a few years there where um, in 2009, we really actually had a really good chance to go win it. And we thought we were the best team in the state that year before the 2010 year. And um, things didn't go our way, and to be able to be there on the sideline, and obviously we were sophomores at the time, but we were a part of that, the scout team and stuff, but um, ended up missing a kick that cost us a game against Southside, and um, really had a good chance to win it that year. But I think that after that, we really wanted to go get it done, and to, to get it done in 2010 really just transitioned us into that next year, going into our senior year, that we're like, hey, we gotta go Go get that again. I, I just felt accomplished, basically, you know, because we won one when I was a sophomore, uh, and to win two of them out of three years is a, a great accomplishment. And we knew that we had done something special, so ever since then, that's something that we can carry on with us for the rest of our life. I just think it, it, it made Bentonville football very recognizable in not only the state, but in the, in the southwest region part of the United States. And, I think today, Bentonville football is still recognized on a national level because of 
um, the legacy of the 2010s is exemption to.